Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see about the event handling. So, what is this event handling? You already know about this event handling. That whenever when you whenever you want to perform an action, if any HTML action is happened, so you want to perform some logic or anything means so we can do this using the event handling. So now how we can do this event handling in the Vue.js, how we can listen to the events and all those things. Let's try to see in this video. So normally, for handling this event handling and all those things, we will be using VIFN on directive. And also in the short form, we can mention it as an at the rate symbol. I will try to, to listen to the DOM events and run some JavaScript code. So let's create a new component. Event handling. <coughs> dot view and here in the main dot js let's copy here event handling event handling and copy this one and paste it here and here also copy this one and paste it here let's go to the app dot view and here also i want to paste it here and in the event handling dot view create a template and do in this do h3 event handling so this is our template so basic template if you go and see the output and in the bottom we'll be able to see event handling so i told you right whenever you want to apply this event handling we need to use the vip and on directive so here what i can do i will be taking one do i will show you the basic event handler so do and in this one i will be creating one button Here I will be using increment counter or something like this counter. I will use counter. And normally, in order to increase the counter, what I will try to do is we'll be having a script and setup. We'll create a variable constant count is equal to rep. It should be imported from view. And I will be taking zero. So VIFN on off click is equal to count plus plus. That's it. So this is the simple thing. So something like an on click like that. Inline even handler. We can say it as an inline handlers. If you try to see the output and here if I try to increase the counter, this one we are not able to see it, right? I will show you. So in order to use this one, I will show you at the bottom here count okay count there is this one yeah count so i have added here count or otherwise i can have something like counter and we can see the count so let's see whether it can be able to upgrade it or not if i see here refresh this page counter is zero when i click on this one see counter is getting updated so whenever i am clicking on this button we are executing some logic so here i am trying to execute the javascript logic inside the inline only so this is an inline handler so if you want to handle it through the method means what i can do here i will be creating a method constant increment counter is equal to and here i can write something like count dot value plus plus here we need to use the value why right? because we are using the ref and here instead of using this count plus plus here i can use increment counter so oh sorry what happened increment i can use this counter that's it now if you see the output the same thing happens here the same thing happens so this is one like this so this is the method handler so now what i can say is vf and on we can also write it in a shorthand notation something like at the range okay so this is also valid one so in order to if we are writing we will be writing so many event handlers right so in order to shorten the syntax so we can use this at the rate also and another thing what i want to tell you is the method handlers is there right so whenever you are trying to call this increment counter this method so now you will be able to get the event also so the event parameter automatically it will be injected here and if i try to console.log of event you'll be able to see the pointer event here 
if i refresh this page and if i click on the counter here i am able to see the pointer now here i can see get the tag name that is nothing but a button so like this so we are not passing anything but we are able to get this one so here i am able to get the button also now the another thing is for example let's say that i am having some parameter here so now what what is the issue so now you can pass here a special variable dollar event so that the event will be passed here and here you can get the name also so two parameters we are passing name and name event so if i try to do the console.log of name so you will be able to get the name and also the target also if i see if i press enter see here i'm able to see it. my mouse is having a little bit of problem it is uh, left by left click is pressing double times if i click a single time so i will replace it that's not a problem so fine <clears throat> so this is one thing so now the another thing what i want to tell you is the event modifiers before closing of this event handler thing so the last one what i want to tell you is the event handlers event modifiers for example let's say that i am having a anchor link so div and here href is equal to http www.google.com and here i will be using click here okay. here now for this one at the rate click i can use at the rate click is equal to on link click okay this is the method and here i can write constant on link click is equal to this is the method so here i can use console.log link click so this is the thing now if i try to refresh this page and if i if i use this click here automatically this one will be redirected to the google.com so this should not happen so we know that this should not happen so for that one what we need to do the old method is the old school method what it is so you need to get the event here and here you need to use event dot prevent default if you remember so this one in the javascript thing so we will be using this event dot prevent default if i try to refresh and if i click here see it will not refresh but the link clicked and all those things you can able to see it. instead of writing these all the things instead of writing here and this event and all those things so we have a feasibility that is nothing but that is called as an event modifier so here you can write prevent so this is also one and the same only now for example let's say that we are having here at the red click and for this one is also we are having at the red click on parent click so this is also one event which we are having and on parent click here i can write something like constant on parent click is equal to so this is also a method and here i will be writing console.log parent click okay so now if i try to show you the output if i refresh this page if i click on here automatically the pay, the link is also firing and also the parent is also firing so that means it is propagating the event is bubbling so if you want to stop this propagation you can use stop here or otherwise normally you'll be using event dot stop propagation right so instead of that one you can use stop so like this now only the link clicked only it will be fine so if i if i do here see only the link click will be fine the parent will not be fine so like this you will be having and also you will be having dot capture also so if you are using dot capture here means then what will happen is so you will know that whenever you are firing an event so you'll be having it will be having two phases something like uh, capture phase and also the bubbling phase so capture phase means now the parent click will fire so it is trying to capture the element so parent click will fire and then afterwards on link click will be, will be fired so if you try to see here if i refresh this page and i will click on this one so now what has happened I didn't save it or what yeah, i didn't save it this one so let's save it and let us refresh it yeah here i will try to show you see this time parent has been clicked so this is this is firing because of the capture phase and also link click so like this you will be having other option also something like click dot once also you'll be having so you'll be having once also that means only one time only it will be fired so whenever you want to have a link which should be triggered only once means then you can use this one so like this you will be having different types and also you can have key modifiers also like key up uh, dot enter key up page down these all the things are available so which you can see it in the uh, documentation vue.js documentation if you try to see 
so here if we go here ujs and if i go to the event handling yeah here you'll be having these all the things so we have discussed about this capture once and all those things right help means only the self element that the same the, the element only it will fire the selected element only it will fire when the element is only selected one then it will fire and here you'll be able to see key up enter so when the enter is pressed then it only it will be sub submitted page down like this you'll be having commonly used keys like tab delete escape exact like this control alt shift meta also with the the, um, the the keys are there so exact means only the click dot control dot exact means only the control only if it is present means then only it will fire so like that you'll be having in the same scenario mouse button modifiers also there like left right and middle so these are all the different types of events which are available in the vjs so you can take a look at these all things and you can practice it then you can able to understand have a have a nice idea about all these things hope you understood about this event handling if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you